Hey guys, you're Bar Creepers, and welcome back to my favorite a 18 Liverpool mode. Where last off, I won the Premier League title. Yeah. The Premier League is secured. So, this. Normally, now, normally I would be only showing, um,. The last league match, maybe, and be focusing on cup matches. But I wanted to, you know, I actually want to talk about uh, something that happened a few days ago. Oh, when you're seeing this. And, well, I, I, when... I play PSG on it. It should be a about great that. occasion. It's the Merseyside derby. Everton against Liverpool. Join us live. We don't need to see the players warming up. Liverpool. They're looking for another victory today. And uh, the thing I want to talk about is uh, Trees Ever. It's not often you win by that margin and... Uh, uh, Marseille playing. We'll see them through. While playing for Marseille. The Everton lineup for you. Now, Funes Mori starts with Phil Jagielka as the centre backs. Idrissa Gay plays. I can. Schneider in the centre of the park. I'm a little confused. Well, they've broken through here. Now, a really good goal. And the celebration. Patrice Evra. Supporters are going crazy. A few. Back when he was still playing for Manchester United, I'm well, sure you guys. I'll still remember maximum opportunity. It was the incident where Luis Suarez, where Luis Suarez racially abused them. You have got to be there, and uh, this lad has got the knack of doing I can that. only imagine what that fan must have said or done that made Patrice Evra want to kick him when he did nothing to Luis Suarez. The lead now is with I Liverpool. Mean, maybe it was more racism, maybe it was an insult to someone in Everett's family. I don't know. I can we can only imagine, like, maybe it's come out this is being pre recorded. FYI. Done well under pressure here. So by the time this is posted it might have come out why Ever has real why he kicked that guy. It just seems odd that, you know. Oh, the possession squandered in a good position. And now they've got to get back. Maybe it just shows that Ever was more composed when there was a match in progress. He didn't want to lash out at Suarez then because it would have gotten him sent off. And that would have made Man United. The game against that game indeed. against Liverpool, move has broken down. unnecessarily more difficult these these days. than any standard right game here. would be. Just go straight through. Four men, you know, but you know, the going the down to ten men in any game, you know, no matter who you are, uh, is going to make things more difficult than they need. It's spicy. It's spiky. It's splendid. It's the standard difficulty of not know. Perennial yeah. under team you're playing could either of, uh, be terrible on the day or it could be fantastic. The shot's up. Still a chance in there off the goalkeeper. Put away, but not. Shot's up. And they have scored. And they do lead now by two. And they've worked very hard for this. It should get them across the line at the end of the match, Wilson. But. Right. It, it just seems odd. It just seems odd. Like. It's a really good goal from a player who prefers it with the other foot. He does. I enjoy mean, mad sometimes when players won't take a chance on the weaker it's... side. So fair play to him for doing that. Well, it's not impossible. It's harder for white people to understand racism. Because, you know... It's not really something that... Wait... I don't know, what's the most racist thing you can say to a white person? Just widen the 
but using something like the N word third is much reaching its target. Really taboo thing. Hey, so much so that you know there's a whole whole kick racism mm, mm, out football saying all the racism all that stuff that's constantly promoted and not just the Premier League but in a lot of things all over the world holding right for so what a great goal it's come in from a so I I I can't say uh, I defenders caught out by it in the end I have no idea what I'm talking about when it comes to racism. I've never always got to make a change this manager because my only experience with racism is seeing the aforementioned racism uh, between you know, Suarez and Evra and the one between Terry and Ferdinand. Anton actually. Specify it was Anton, not real. Let's rather skip his head Might have actually hit Terry. Didn't catch it properly. I think he probably closed his eyes. Considering what Rio is currently he plan into the who in the next portion of his life. Um little private game yeah. between the two of them. Morgan Schneider left. So it, it's definitely something that I can't really speak of. Like, Nathaniel Klein. Some things you can like the break is compare to something you like that, but racism is not something they to score here. that I can compare. They the ball about then. Mm, relate to because, really like I said, it's, right pass every time there. I don't know. Like. It's a very good goal. I think they were a bit caught out because that's supposed to be his weaker foot. I defender just switched off. One of my favorite comedians is uh, is Chris Rock. On that weaker side on the training ground. Like if you ever watch someone like him, white people are referred to by like crackers or something like that, which I guess is racist. I don't know. It doesn't really sound. Like, like if this. someone Such called me a cracker, I'd be like, yeah, you know, whatever odd thing to call me. Be like, you can see it in the faces of the players, and you can hear it in the lack of noise, if you like, from the supporters. If they were, well, those fans can't even be bothered. I don't know who came up with that, moment, but you know, stunned into silence. You know, maybe you should have put some more thought into it. On the attack so it seem like it would be as bad as a white person two. saying any person. We could be in. He's in now. Just like I said, I, if I were called it, I'd be like, oh, well, take it. Um, okay. Well, he's not far out, but you've got to see, see how two. that's supposed to insult. Circumstances, and he was. When a white person says the end word, it's or it's it's, a, it's offensive. It's having words, and you can understand shocking. You're like, dude, what the hell are you doing? You're not supposed to say that word. Are, do you have a brain in your head? I say this like it is racist. I don't know. We don't know. It, like I said, it's probably come out. By the time you're watching this, it's probably all been explained. Look, look you can actually see a sign. Everton against racism. So they're racking up the goals. So, there you go. That's emphasizing my point about how it's all over the, um, not just the Premier League, but other leagues as well. But this is even, so, like, it might not be racism. Like I said, it might have been an insult to a family member or to ever himself. Then again, I go back to he kicked the fan, but he did nothing to Suarez. Like, this is what we're gonna get for added time. Emre Chan. If it were an insult, like a personal insult. Oops. Like, maybe the guy said that everyone was terrible at football and he should never play again. 
kind of crazy. Why that guy would have said that, but maybe that's what he said. I don't know. Like I said, we don't know. And yes, I know it. I'm not going to repeat myself over and over. The point I'm making is, if I were Patrice Evra, in the Luis Suarez situation, or in this guy's situation, I would have been boiling. Like, he probably was boiling. Like, he was probably like, I can't believe he, he, he said that to me. Like, the referee, he, he's completely ignoring it. He's not paying any attention to my... You think hey, no. the team that's losing here. Well, trying to explain what the hell happened. You know, he said. Um, he said, as far as, you know, said something he shouldn't have said to me, and you're doing nothing about it. Well, we wait to see what the second half brings. The first half was conclusive, but you don't win the game. If I were ever, I would have been like, trying to get to. Get. What's. Have, like. That's hard. He Good couldn't like. Play from them. What? If he if he reacted, it would have been a red card. But what he did to the fan not only got him a red card before the match even began. Now this is an interesting attack. But it also lost him his spot in the Marseille club. They. They fired him, they're like, yeah, you're done. Dybala. We don't need any air carry. Very nearly a goal, it's hit the bar, and it's back in play. He's put it over. Yeah, nothing wrong with the contact. He's kicking our fans. Just off. An optimistic effort, and he couldn't hit the target. It's wide of the target. Alan Smith. I think he's trying to catch the goalkeeper by surprise there. Because he was an awfully long way out. Number 10. Wayne Rooney is being replaced now. I can only imagine what it was about and why it happened. Quick witted and quick in his movement too to intercept right. there. And potential in this I don't want to repeat myself, but it could be a case where it has all come out what happened by the time this video is being watched by you guys or maybe ever will never tell us what happened maybe he'll be like Just don't forget no miss this the coverage you want to know ask the guy it's a great ball from Coutinho trying to switch on the attack response it's not a thing about it miscued really with the header yeah not known for his heading and you can see why there with that effort But whatever the reason, this could be a chance. Shots on here. Whoa, that's flown <laughs> over the bar. He shouldn't have gone that far. Spectacular effort. Now, he's got options on the bench, of course. I'm going to assume, and I know, if you assume, it makes it an ass out of you and I. Ha ha ha. But I'm 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 gonna just make an assumption that say so often we get the whatever it was and the assistant of course has one chance to see it was something that all just about I mean just didn't sit right just made it wasn't much in it a few inches feel like violence was necessary David Class now I'm not advocating you know kicking somebody says. Especially a fan who paid to come to go to that match, paid to watch the team he supports. Just didn't expect to get kicked by one of the players. Now, he, the guy is equally as a, a fault. Martina. fault. He clearly did something or said something that made everyone think, right, I'm going to kick this asshole. Classic. Now, maybe it was an overreaction. I don't know. We, like we said, we, we won't know unless it's, it's come out or it will come out. I, I don't know. Well, this attack 
Uh, I guess we just have to wait and see. Dybala. Eyes in there. Patrick. Goal number three here. And it's a perfect day for the player. And the goal. Was things in like prison. Yeah, there was some power behind that effort. I think the crossbar's still shaking. Let's see the replay now. I don't think we expected this. Such a one-sided affair. But look at the scoreline. But yeah. Gilfi Sigurdsson giving the opposition a problem with their interpassing. That's that's my opinion on the uh, the Evra stuff. Time nearly up here. Chances are he'll never play again. Hmm. And so, well, Everton go up against Swansea City after this, and uh, and they'll certainly need to do better because they've been so. I imagine many United fans will probably say, uh, I'll, I'll choose to remember him for his time as a successful Manchester United player and not a Marseille player kicking one of their fans. And it's in. And for the some ball. reason. When he hit it, I think he might have been... I mean, it doesn't say a... a like... Below the bar, Whirly, this is a nut. This is a like Cantona did it while he was at Manchester United. Where that a second Manchester United player has done this, but this time not at Manchester United. And I only found out recently it was a Crystal Palace fan he kicked. I thought it was a Leeds fan. I don't know what made me think it was a Leeds fan, but... Some reason I thought it was a Leeds fan for the longest time. It was a Crystal Palace fan, apparently? Maybe it wasn't. Maybe they... Like, I was watching a YouTube video talking about the Everest situation briefly. Moving forward with some danger to the opposition now they're here. And they mentioned the Chris that it was a Crystal Palace fan that the uh that that captain that kicked. I was like Crystal Palace fan. I thought it was a Leeds fan. I legit I don't know why I thought it was a Leeds fan. I just I thought it was a Leeds fan for some reason. Manchester City nil. Manchester United. Why I thought it was a Leeds fan, I don't know. One Swansea City one. Let's oh, that means for the league. Crap! At the top of the table remain Liverpool with 97 points. In God second, damn it! Tottenham Hotspur with 72 points, with a game in hand on the team above. I wasn't supposed to play in my main team in that match. Ah, that was supposed to be a second team. Damn it! With 54 points. In fifth and falling are Chelsea with 53 points. In 6th, West Ham United with 52 points. In 7th, Burnley with 50 points. In 8th, Manchester City with 48 points. Bottom of the table, Newcastle United with <sighs> 48 points. And then reading up the table, 2nd bottom, Huddersfield Town with 25 points. Be decent. Hmm. Awful. Ah, I get. Uh. Oh no! Not Nathaniel, not Nathaniel Klein. I'm sure he's buzzing after uh, buzzing after scoring his first goal of the season, but that doesn't mean that the man goes up under randomly, he out of nowhere. That'd be a big slap in the face to Danny Ainge.
Oh, I should have played German. Damn it. I should have played the, um... And couldn't... Ooh. Mm. You know, this is their mint fell with the great hair, the, the fellow whose name I can't properly pronounce because I keep accidentally saying cunt. cunt. No, no T in his name. I do not know where I'm getting the T. Liverpool, they're looking for another victory today to add on to their recent away win against but, um, Everton. Well, I should have played him in the line, but uh, considering it was PSG, I signed him. Big reshuffle for Liverpool. Maurice Carrius is the goalkeeper today. Jorginho Wijnaldum starts with Jordan Henderson in midfield. Danny Ings is the sole striker today. Paris Saint Germain, this is their lineup. In goal Kevin Trapp, live out Kuzawa starts alongside Thomas Mernier in the fullback positions. Marco Verratti plays with Thiago Motta in central midfield. Edith. Now the shot! You can see what he was trying to do, opening up his body to place it, but he's placed it wide, sadly, for him. <laughs> Neatly intercepted. It goes out wide again. Striding forward, purposefully. Real hint of promise about that attack, but in the end it came to very little. Quick, so, um, quick, good vision. Well, the player's broken down. Make it that what you will. Cleared the ball. There's good progress with this attack. This with the chance to go into the lead now. He scored. Fantastic. Score. The first goal of the game. Hey. If I can get enough, boost for what big enough there. score. And then the second leg will be simmable. It's come in from a long way out, and from that angle, it's not always easy to finish. Defenders caught out by it in the end. Well, it was. They're a, they're a powerful side, and they really do. Beautiful header from the Englishman. Oh, Nerf, you find your final. Okay. It's a good way to nick the ball back. Quick thinking. Edison Cavani. Liverpool will take over possession again. Maybe that's something for a free team. It's opened up. He's had a good Thank you. And he's put it in for the goal. I have to play. Wonderful strike. He every match with everyone out of the position. goal reflected in the replay here. Very much quick fire football from these boys. They've scored again. Let's see the replay now. Oh, his team haven't been at it. And look at the manager's face. You can't believe what they're giving him out there. Restarting at 2 0. Opponents around him, that's good screening of the football. Good forward play from them. Angel Di Maria. They've lost the ball, and the counter attack could be there. Opposition slow to get back, so possibilities still on the counter attack. Should really deliver from this yes. position. Yeah. And the goalkeeper will get this one. No Goal problem. scores would be a little different. <laughs> Instead of uh, Sadio Mane, we'd have freaking um, Robertson bang on them. <laughs> to the keeper. Lennon. Live at Kozawa. Well, this attack has got a bit of menace to it. And he can clear it here. That's taken the heat out of the situation for the moment with that interception. I was looking at the stats. I noticed something odd. I think he saw the look from the uh, other player. About saw where the pass was going. The games Karius has played it. He has not conceded a goal yet. It's a poor touch in any game whatsoever. 
Could be dangerous. 22 games he's played. 22 clean sheets. And he's got a goal and to show for it. This one will be 23. But yeah, you've got PSG to be there to score. You've got to be there to miss it as well, but he didn't. Two for him on the I mean, Oh, yeah, I'm like, wow. Goals. Should I put in characters instead of minions? Because really, I was actually conceded goal. And I did. And it was five. I was. I, I mentioned in the last episode. How I probably count. I might. Really finish the job. Well, he's had a go. I could either maybe count them all on one hand, or I would be unable to. But I can't. One hand. Five Lee goals is all I've been seeing. All Peter's out right. Thirty Had a go! Well he's had a go. Oh, another absolutely stunning goal from Trent Island Arnold. I mean both. English right back and scoring the second. Taking the shot on, let alone scoring the goal. Well, we didn't see that coming, nor did the goal. I don't know what else to say. just stood off him as if to say, go and have a go. Boom! I'll be regretting that now. It was a stunning goal. second goal. And he got his reward for it. the season. On top of his uh, absolutely stunning goal. A few episodes ago. That one is even better. The opposition in danger of being blown away here by the remarkable start to the game from the team that's taking them to the cleaners. Funnily enough, that reminds me of the goal he scored against Hoffman. Three minutes to be which was a free on. kick. I know. Three minutes. But the way he smashed it, like, took everyone by his surprise. Baratti. These people didn't know who Trent was before, sure but they the damn sure did get that after that. Time in only the first leg, but what a good start. Yeah, they've had an excellent... You can bet Offenheim were like, who the hell is Trent Alexander-Arnold? Before the game, and after the game, it was like, oh, that's who we guess. <laughs> Good first half, hoping for something better in the second half. The second half now underway of this Champions Cup quarter-final. Yeah, you've got good vision. The score! Ings! Oh! Trap got enough on it. Looking to take the corner. Ryan's a hat in trick. goes the corner. Cleared away by the defender. This turnover could be costly against the side. Come on, Sessing on. You're outpaced, so you got to get it. Clear. There we he go. Saw the guy could switch the play to, and came up with the pass as well. Excellent. Listen, no, he, he's quick enough, but <laughs> going up against yeah, Neymar, uh, or with only been one winner there, if it had come down to a battle pace, like it's there like, for Liverpool. Like, to five nil, Nunez getting himself on the score sheet. And that really pretty goal. much means Quiet. that the second leg is the indeed it does. I think mean, simple. Players won't take a chance on the weaker side. So it's play to him for doing that. Five nil before the hour mark. The first leg. Oh, he's loving it. The manager. He's seeing his team playing really well. Just what he was asking for. Lino Nunes. Probably a uh, different way of pronouncing it. So one-sided today, but, uh, but all credit to the team that are racking up the goals. Yeah. He screened the ball well there. Edison Cavani. He might be through. Great run. Christensen? He's in now. <laughs> Thumbs up from the back to, to assist to Danny Ings in his ass trick. Really been on form. I wasn't paying any attention to the bar with you. And what a day he's having. Three goals. I saw 20. He's I was been like, thorn in the side. I didn't know who it was. The opposition all match, and he thoroughly deserves that hat trick. I mean, 
mean? Doesn't really matter. matter. Haven't been at it, and look at the manager's For face. I can't believe what they're giving him out there. You know, it's weird. I actually I play football manager. Um, I know the new one has come out, so it's gonna sound weird. Seventh. I'm currently um, managing four fan. Live at or is it fourth car? I'm not sure. I'm never sure how to properly pronounce their name. The uh, Scottish. Saw where the pass was going. I read it. And it's currently 2021. After Jurgen Klopp left Liverpool to take. Forget what job he took. They can be quick on the break. Played in the clear. You know who took over Liverpool? And they managed to score. The PSD manager. Emery. What's this person? Unai? Is that how you say it? Unai Emery? He can't have scored many better than but, this. Yeah, this is, this is a little weird. Onto the ball. Well, give him credit. Especially because my next game in the career mode is a Champions League game against Liverpool. I'm dead serious. I am shit serious. I am in a, a very odd group. I'm in the group with Oviedo, Real Oviedo, who are managed by Pep Guardiola. I'm dead serious. And Benfica. I don't know who they're managed. He can't have scored many better than this. With the bendies imparted onto the ball. Well, give him credit. You could see exactly what he set out to do there and executed it perfectly. I have to say, it's so one sided today, but all credit to the team that are racking up the goals. Thiago Mota. That's weird because I'm actually in my last. Steered through. Season is for, for much pleasure before I go back to the English. And a cross can come in. Uh, Not a nice challenge. What uh, the ref do? I played a few seasons with uh, a lower league from Alfred. Sorry, has scored quite right. a few from these kind of distances, and it is there in the um, the north. Uh, One more look at what happened earlier. Could the defender have done anything? Uh, uh, north. He's half turned league. away, and that didn't you know, help if he'd have closed it down a bit more bravely. It's one of the leagues where the teams from the conference what, what, what was known as the conference now it's the Valarama League or something like that for me it'll always be the conference that's what it was called these two have got a great years. understanding with their passing I will never know it as anything other than the conference Liverpool will take over no matter what they call it. so, if you're confused it's it's the it's where the teams the conference or the Valar the league is where the teams from League Two go when they are out. Well, for a fraction of a and second, the, Alan, I thought he was going to keep it out. He did get a touch on the ball. Am I, am I the only one who's seen all these goals yeah, go in? Because I, 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 he's critic and feels he should have done better. No, no, no way. Because you're just awful really to read the intention of the pass. I could put out nobody for the second leg, and I'd still go. This is an interesting attack. Shots on here. He's put it over. Yeah, nothing wrong with the contact. However, should have seen just off. It's going to be a change for Paris Saint Germain. Wait a minute. You're bringing off a defender to bring on Draxler? You're 10 0 down, and you're bringing off defenders. Javier Pastore. Angel Di Maria. What? What are you playing, Draxler left back? Attacking power in this situation. Now it goes into the wider areas where they've got a winger waiting. He's got support here. Marco Verratti moving it forward. I have no idea what the hell is going on. 
Paris Saint-Germain. Even 10 nil up, I accidentally give away a goddamn. <laughs> Yeah, I think so. And it was a poor tackle. It was bad. I made Di Maria spin around like the guy in the song. Neymar. Ah! Even though I went the right way, Karius is his clean sheet run is over. Neymar celebrating like he won the fucking Champions League. Dude, it's 10-1. You're out. Oh. This goal is meaningless. Don't no worry about the pressure or the responsibility here, and there's the goal. Neymar. Ah, so oh, close to keeping it out as well. What was I talking about? Oh, yeah, the, um... I got out into the town up to lead two. I went into like my contract was up at the end of that season, and like I went into like negotiate. I wanted to get a contract. I was trying to get a contract, you know, to take him up to the Premier League because you know, got him up that far. I may as well take him all the way. Some reason they wouldn't give me, you know, they only wanted to give me a two year contract. I was like, give me a four year contract. And at least take you up to the Premier League. Take help. It was absolute. I might have been asking for a five year contract. For some reason they were only offering two years. I was like, you realize you are where you are because of me, right? Like, You realize that, right? You so uh, champions. I was pissed off. I I wanted a longer contract. I feel like I, I earned it. I really felt well, like I earned it. So it's a bit annoying. And I was like, yo, know, if you if you're not gonna give me the contract that I I I earned, I'm gonna walk out the door. You know, treat me with respect. Damn it. So, you know, I, I walked out, I got offered a job with Forefan, I was like, okay, I'll take it. Didn't really anticipate going up to Scotland. And, did. Currently in my fourth season. My contract is running out, but I'm like... Instead of signing a new contract, I'm gonna go back to, you know, and try again. And I think, hopefully this time I'll get the respect I deserve when I actually play from the, from the game. Hopefully, anyway. Anyway, that's, that's enough of that. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Smash the like button if you did. Subscribe if you're new. And until next time, I hope you all have a very... Friend, I stay. Peace.